Patty Duke had an incredible life, leaving behind a lasting impact on both the entertainment industry and society as a whole. Join us as Facts First presents rare vintage photos of young Patty Duke. She was stunning. Early life. Patty Duke, born Anna Marie Duke on December 14, 1946, was an actress whose career spanned over five decades. She was born in Elmhurst, Queens, to Francis and John Patrick Duke. She had three siblings and grew up in a troubled household. This was largely due to her mother's mental health struggles and her father's alcoholism. When she was just seven years old, Duke's parents turned her over to John and Ethel Ross, who were talent managers. The Rosses began to manage her career and insisted on changing her name to Patty. The Miracle Worker Duke's breakthrough in the entertainment industry came at age 12, when she was cast in the Broadway play The Miracle Worker. It was a pivotal moment in her career and brought her widespread recognition and acclaim. Her performance was extraordinary, and she convincingly portrayed the frustration, anger, and isolation experienced by Helen Keller due to her disabilities. The play premiered in October 1959 and was an instant hit. Audiences and critics were captivated by Duke's portrayal of Keller. Her powerful chemistry with co-star Anne Bancroft, who played Anne Sullivan, added another layer of depth to the production. Due to the overwhelming success of the play, a film adaptation was made in 1962, with Duke reprising her role. The film, directed by Arthur Penn, received critical acclaim and further solidified Duke's reputation as as a talented actress. Her performance in the film version of The Miracle Worker earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress at the age of 16, making her the youngest person at the time to receive the award. The Patty Duke Show Following her success in The Miracle Worker, Duke continued acting in film and television. She starred in The Patty Duke Show, a sitcom that aired from 1963 to 66, starring Patty Duke in the dual roles of identical cousins Patty Lane and Kathy Lane. The show followed the lives of the two cousins who were from different backgrounds as they navigated the challenges of teenage life. The show's reception was generally positive, and it became quite popular during its run. Patty's exceptional acting skills were crucial to the success of the show. She effortlessly differentiated the two characters, Patty and Kathy, giving each a distinct personality and mannerisms. Duke's comedic timing and ability to deliver witty dialogue contributed to the show's humor and entertainment value. The show also received critical acclaim, with Duke's performance being highly praised. She was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1964 and 65. The Patty Duke show ended after three years, primarily due to creative and logistical reasons. One of the main factors was Patty's desire to move on from the show and explore other acting opportunities. By the time the show ended in 1966, Duke had been playing the roles of Patty and Kathy for several years and wanted to pursue more challenging and diverse roles. She was also transitioning into adult roles and wanted to shed her teenage image. Another reason for the show's conclusion was the difficulty in sustaining the concept of identical cousins. While the premise initially intrigued audiences, it became challenging to create fresh and engaging storylines centered around the dual roles. Additionally, there were logistical issues with production. Filming a TV series can be demanding and the workload may have taken a toll on the cast and crew. Call Me Anna Beyond her acting career, Duke faced personal challenges during her early life. In her autobiography, Call Me Anna, Duke discussed her tumultuous childhood, growing up with a mentally unstable mother and an absent father. She revealed the difficulties she faced as a child actress, including the pressure to succeed and the lack of a stable family environment. One of the most significant revelations in Call Me Anna was Duke's openness about her struggle with bipolar disorder, which she was diagnosed with at age 35. She detailed the symptoms she experienced, the impact it had on her personal and professional professional life and her journey towards understanding and managing her condition. In later life, she became an advocate for mental health awareness, sharing her story to reduce the stigma surrounding mental health issues. Duke shared her experiences of seeking therapy and undergoing personal growth, which played a significant role in her journey towards self-acceptance and healing. She also discussed her involvement in mental health advocacy and her work to increase awareness and understanding of bipolar disorder. Other roles. Despite her personal challenges, Patty's career career continued to flourish. She appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout the 70s and 80s, including the TV movie My Sweet Charlie, for which she won an Emmy Award, and the miniseries The Women's Room. Patty's role in My Sweet Charlie was a significant departure from her previous work and marked a turning point in her career. The TV movie, released in 1970, was a powerful and socially relevant drama that tackled issues of racial tension and prejudice. She portrayed Marlene Chambers, a young, unwed white woman who becomes stranded 
in a small Texas town after her car breaks down. She seeks refuge in a rundown shack occupied by Charles Roberts, a black man played by actor Al Freeman Jr. As Marlene is awaiting repairs, she goes into labor and is unable to leave. Despite their initial mutual distrust and prejudice, Marlene and Charles find themselves forced to coexist and rely on each other. Patty Duke's performance in My Sweet Charlie was highly acclaimed and earned her an Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role. The role showcased her versatility and demonstrated her ability to tackle complex and socially relevant subject matter. She also had significant roles in two notable films in the late 60s, Valley of the Dolls and Me, Natalie. In Valley of the Dolls, she played the role of Neely O'Hara, a young, ambitious actress struggling to find success in the entertainment industry. The film, based on the best-selling novel of the same name, follows the lives of three women, played by Duke, Sharon Tate, and Barbara Parkins, as they navigate fame, fortune, and the dark side of showbiz. In Me, Natalie, she played the titular character, Natalie Miller, a young woman living in Brooklyn who dreams of breaking free from conformist surroundings and finding her own identity. She's an awkward and introverted girl who faces numerous challenges, including her weight, social expectations, and the pressure to conform to societal norms. Duke's portrayal of Natalie earned her critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in the Motion Picture, Comedy, or Musical. Later career. In the 90s and 2000s, Duke focused more on advocacy work for mental health awareness and served on the board of directors of the Screen Actors Guild. She also became an author, writing several books, including A Brilliant Madness, Living with Manic Depressive Illness, which chronicled her experiences with bipolar disorder. In 1985, she was elected the first female president of SAG's Hollywood division. She served in this role for two terms, from 1985 to 1988. During her tenure, she advocated for actors' rights and worked towards strengthening the Guild's influence in the industry. She was married four times. Her first marriage was to director Harry Falk when she was 18 and he was 32. That marriage ended in divorce. Her second marriage was to Michael Tell, which lasted only 13 days. The third was to actor John Astin, with whom she has two sons, Sean and Mackenzie Astin, both of whom became actors. Her fourth and final marriage was to drill sergeant Michael Pierce, whom she married in 1986. They adopted adopted a son, Kevin, and remained married until Duke's death in 2016. Patty Duke passed away March 29, 2016, at age 69. Her death was caused by sepsis, resulting from a ruptured intestine. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Patty Duke was abandoned by her parents and she received an Academy Award at age 16? Let us know in the comments section below.